That's us. It's 27 minutes after 9 o'clock. It's also Monday morning, the day before the primary election. And uh, we've got Albert Keener. Albert is a candidate for Cumberland City Council. He's on the phone with us this morning. Good morning, Albert. Good morning, Jim. Why in the world do you want to be as uh, a member of uh, city government? Well, I'd like to give back to my community, but I, to be frank, I did decide to run for city council overnight. Okay. I originally became interested in city government when um, I became concerned with the traffic downtown. Mm-hmm. And over the years, my interest in local government grew. Well, so now you're going to, now you want to serve this city as a uh, city councilman. What kind of shape do you think the city's in? Um, there, I, I think the city is, um, it's, it's, it, it, there's room for improvement. Yeah, uh, certainly. Uh, well, why do you think you'd make a good city councilman? Well, I can c- consider myself a, I consider myself a serious candidate. Okay. Because I have a demonstrated record of being involved. Uh-huh. Um, I think I have the time to devote my full attention to the position, uh-huh. um, which can be a difficult proposition for business owners or people whose job responsibilities are unpredictable. I feel that if you want a candidate that knows what they are talking about, has a platform of substance, and knows how to put good ideas in action, you should vote for me. Okay, what kind of good ideas? Well, in the past, I've fought for fixing our streets, and mm-hmm. I've worked to have our state highway administration to improve the Virginia Avenue traffic signal. Mm-hmm. But I want people to know that there's more to me than concerns about traffic and street repair. Uh-huh. Um, my three main issues are crime, economic development, and fixing our infrastructure, mm-hmm. which which includes the streets and the pipes underneath them. And... Um, How's your overview of the city's financial situation? Uh, the city is about $52.7 million in debt. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, we're going to have to make a lot of cuts to, to, to strengthen our financial picture. Okay. Um, I believe the bond rating is, is um, a lot of people that issue the bonds are looking at the city's financial strength. To, um, and, and, and the rating is very important if you want to be able to continue to borrow money to mm-hmm. maintain cash flow and 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 and, and fix uh, and and address city issues mm-hmm. and, and and I want to also say that um, during this election season I have attended five neighborhood group meetings okay. within the city mm-hmm. so I could learn firsthand about the biggest concerns city residents okay a personal question um, will you vote for or against the uh, opening of Constitution Park poll this year um, well, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that because I don't think you're sworn in until G- January okay. of 2013. So, okay, so. But, but I think the first... What's your opinion on that issue? Do you think oh, the I'd, city I'd, should I'd, try I'd, to I'd, keep the public? I'd like to... For the first year, I, I think we can we we should maintain the services that that um, most city residents benefit from. Mm-hmm. I do feel that we're going to seriously need to look at what we spend on recreation. Yeah, maybe we can uh, without uh, firing anybody. Maybe we can move you know move some people around. Uh, I think we have a tremendous overhead uh, that maybe needs to be cut, and maybe we need citizen committees to help. Uh, for example, fund the park pools operating expenses through some kind of uh, fundraiser. It'd be nice to get a committee together to do that, wouldn't it? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Well. Okay. So, uh, anything else you want to talk about regarding your candidacy this morning? Okay. Well, I want to tell people I've I've worked hard to familiarize myself with city government. Mm-hmm. I've communicated with local officials over the years, written letters to the paper. I've even produced videos about many issues affecting our community. Okay. I keep up to date with the city's budget, which is what it's currently working on, what it's planning to do. I know what each department does. I've attended numerous city council meetings over the last year, and I've spoken at the podium to council members about many issues affecting our city. I think that with my background, I can bring a lot to the table. There's a lot of reading and communication involved, and I'm good at that, but I'm also a big believer in common sense. A lot of my knowledge I have about business, buildings, and planning, I credit to my background in marketing and the visual arts. Mm -hmm. I also have work experience and computer networking, which I think will help a lot in bringing better business-grade Internet access to our area. And that's why I'm confident that I can hit the ground running and begin work immediately. Well, there you go. Now, you have a website, I understand. Yes, I do. And people can come uh, to your website uh, to understand you a little better. 
Right. I have lots more information about my issues and platform at uh, Cumberland2012.com, or you can always call me anytime at 301 876 4861. He's a candidate for the Cumberland City Council. He wants your support. Albert Keener, we want to thank you for talking with us. Okay. Our time is 9.32 at WCBC.